Hi guys, my name is Bridget Brager and I'm here to share with you some of the best kept secrets on creating big, bouncy bombshell waves with the T3 single pass one and a half inch barrel. So to prep this look, I used a heat protector and a volumizing mousse to get as much body and volume as possible. Then I rough dried my hair until 100% dry. You want no moisture in your hair for this look. I'll start by turning on the curling iron. Twist up. A quick brush to make sure there are no tangles. Now I'll section these bottom sections in two sections. I'll set the barrel in an inch off my scalp and I'll start twisting away from my face, holding the lengths of the hair and feeding them through the barrel. I'll hold the iron here for about three seconds and then I'll cup the wave in my hand and let it cool for about three seconds. This is an opportunity where you could also get extra volume and an extra lock of coolness by squeezing the curl and then dropping it. I'll put the curling iron in vertically, so straight up and down, and I'll start feeding the hair through the barrel away from my face because that's how you get bombshell waves. So to avoid clamp marks, you really wanna kind of hover your finger over the clamp and allow the hair to gently slide through so that there's not a ton of tension on the hair. So I'm holding the barrel close to the root to start this look because I want as much volume there as possible, but I want more of the movement to be mid shaft to ends as opposed to just the ends. I wanna see some of that body and volume throughout the mid shaft. What I love most about the curling iron is this cool tip. It gives me so much control when I'm creating curls. So I'm making sure that as the hair goes through the curling iron, that there's a lot of tension between the hair and the curling iron because I want the end result to be tight and hold its shape. So now my bombshell waves have set and cooled. It's time to rake my fingers through them and brush them apart. It's super easy. I like to start from the back and move my way to the front. This opens up all the hair that we just curled without making everything go flat. And then I like to squeeze the bottom just to add a little bit more texture. So this is your final result. Smooth, undone, bombshell waves. Hot tip, if you wanna take this day look tonight, grab your paddle brush, start from the bottom and brush up so that the curl patterns lock together and create that Hollywood smooth glamour look. 